Hey kids, how was your weekend? I hope you had a great Easter. Today, we are going to be talking about traveling and transportation. Something we are all going to be happy to get back to once the quarantine is over. So we're going to go in depth on both of these topics. Traveling, as you can see, is the action of moving between one place and another. For example, last year I traveled from the U.S. to Prague, then to Czaslaw. That just leaves transportation. Transportation are the means by which we go from one place to another. So, for example, you can fly with the airplane, you can walk wearing shoes, or you can take the bus or a car. So let's get started on these slides and um, really learn some English. So let's review a couple of the vocabulary words we use when we are going to travel somewhere. These are all means of transportation. So first is a bicycle. Bicycle. Many people like to ride their bicycle. Next is a motorbike. Motorbike. Or motorcycle. Motorcycle. Next, many people have these. A car. A car. When you travel, most people travel by plane, a plane. Next, a hot air balloon, a hot air balloon. Not very popular anymore. Next, a boat. A boat can help you travel across the water. Next, a bus, a bus. Many people ride the bus to school. Next, a train. Train. I take a train to work every morning. And if you're in the army or a newscaster, a helicopter. A helicopter. Next, you can take a ship on a cruise. A ship. A ship. And when we travel by plane, we can say, I... All right, so now that we've learned some of the means of travel, we're going to talk about the necessities, or things you need before you go traveling. So, for example, uh, you all need a passport to visit another country. Another good thing to remember is... A phone. You can use a phone for many things, such as a dictionary or a online map. So without further ado, let's check out this holiday travel. We have to think about what we need to bring with us on holiday. For example, we need to consider our budget. Our budget is how much you can spend. This relates back to money. Next, we have to think of the type of holiday. If you want to relax, you want to go somewhere like the seaside, on a cruise, or sightseeing. If you like more active holidays, you should consider climbing, snowboarding, or other sports activities. Next, we have to think of the destination or the location. This is a country, town, or city, a holiday resort, mountain range. You, you understand. Next, we also have to consider the organization. Are you going to plan your holiday alone? Are you going to use a travel agency for a package holiday or compromise? Or will you plan with friends? Step two, before leaving, 
we have to make sure we have our passport or ID, your insurance, or traveling if it's not included in your packet holiday, and where and how to exchange your money or local currency to have credit on your pay card. Step three, some useful items to include while traveling are things like a first aid kit, which is always good just in case, a cell phone and charger, medical supplies in case you have asthma or something else that requires regular medicine, some maps for your active holiday if not included in your cell phone, a dictionary for when you travel to a certain country and do not speak their language. And a camera is always a great idea for a holiday. Four, what kind of transport will you take on this holiday? Will you go on foot, by car, on a boat, by a train, by an airplane, by a bus, or a bicycle. Obviously, the most common way to travel is by plane or train to other countries. Number five, you have to consider what type of holiday you would like to be on. Would you like to go to the seaside, maybe camping, sightseeing, on a cruise, or perhaps fishing and hunting. So now we know how to plan a holiday. Um, keep in mind all of these things will be used for the very end of the video. So if you need to review, stop now and go back. Now I'd like to take a step back and go through another slide, and we're going to talk about The Simpsons Vacation. In the past simple tense. So I will pull up one of the pictures, and you will guess what they did. At the end, we have questions, and I'll pause on those pages so that you can take your time and answer. So let's begin. So last summer, Bart and Lisa helped their dad to plan their holidays. They decided to go to the beach. Homer drove their red car to the south. At the beach, Bart surfed a big wave, and Maggie made a beautiful sandcastle. A crab bit Homer's nose, and Lisa threw a bucket of water on Bart's back. Bart and his sisters had fun dancing on the sand. They wore clothes made of green leaves. At night, Homer and Marge went to the disco. They danced to Latin music. A few days later, they went to the mountains. It was hot, so they had a bath in a small lake. After that, Lisa rode her bike and Bart went skating. Next day, Homer went fishing. As he was hungry, he ate a donut. Marge and the girls picked some beautiful flowers. They went back home happily. Where did the family go last summer? Where did they go last summer? How did they go there? How did they travel? 
Who drove the car? Who drove the car? What did Bart do at the beach? What did Bart do at the beach? Did Maggie swim there? What did she do? What did Maggie do? What happened to Homer? What did Lisa do? What did Lisa do at the beach? Why did the children have fun? Why did the children have fun? What did they wear? What did the Simpsons wear? Where did their parents go at night? Where did their parents go at night? Did they dance to rock music? Where did the family go later? Where did they go later? Was it cold there? Did they have a bath in a river? Did they have a bath in a river or somewhere else? Did Bart ride his bike? What did he do? What did Bart do? Where did Homer go the next day? What did he eat? What did Homer eat? What did Marge and the girls do? What did Marge and the girls do? Great job, everybody. Okay, thank you for your patience and attention today. Uh, to end on, here is the homework. I want you to answer the questions in the following pop-up. And you can email them to me, as always, at cody.mapchoslov at gmail.com. So, for homework, where did you go on your last holiday? How did you travel there? What did you do? Did you have any problems on your trip? For how long were you there? Where would you like to go for your next holiday? And what are the most important things to bring on holiday? Tomorrow we will be doing if clauses. Everybody have a great evening.